give me two minutes, yeah? <laughs> it's only a short walk of shame. It's not about the shame, it's about... Yeah, I know. Your mum. Let's face it, Ken. Nobody likes a know-it-all. Mm, especially when they appear to know very little. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, Ken, I just wanted to say thanks for letting me and my nan join in the quiz last night. Oh, I'm just hearing all about it. Yeah, shame we didn't win. <laughs> Your gran did like it, though, didn't she? Only I, I, I was just telling Rita about the tie-break. Yeah, yeah, I think she got a bit overexcited. Yeah, that'll be it. Look, if you used to have got something you want to say... Yeah, not at all. I, uh, except she was a little dismissive of other people's suggestions. Well, like I say, she was overexcited. She was trying to fit in. Trying to take over from what I hear. Well, I'm just a bit of fun, yeah, so... Yeah, of course uh, it is. Got work to do. Oh. Hi. Hi. sleeping with the enemy. The enemy? What, Duncan? No, he's solicitor. But aren't they... Sisters. Exactly. Did they? No, no. You know, deception is cruel, but when it involves someone of his position, an upholder of truth and integrity, well, it's unforgivable, quite honestly. Shall we go in? Well, I think you're mad for going back. Well, he was the one who behaved badly. Why should I feel awkward? I suppose you can always spit in his tea. Yeah, that was next on my list of things mm -hmm. to do. <laughs> and if he mentions that bill we left him... Oh, his face. Well, at least we can smile about it, though. Yeah. Hmm. All right, try. See you later. What well, have you done, really? matter what you wear, does it? As long as it's something smart. Hmm. Of course it matters. These people look at every little thing and judge you. You can't even open your mouth and you judge. Sure, jacket, blouse, you'll be fine. Who wants scramble? Who wants fried? And no rushing about. I want everyone ready and here for half eleven. Mum, will you stop stressing out? Also, Jack's made you a good luck card. I'll get it in a bit when I go home. Oh. It's not luck she needs. It's Paula, so you're going to be fine. Am I talking to myself here? Who wants scrambled? Who wants fried? Nobody wants any of your flaming eggs! And you need to curb your temper when you see Duncan later. Of course he will. We really need to go over some things. At the risk of getting my head bitten off, I've cooked them now. I can't think here. Shall we go to the cafe? Right. And be ready for half eleven. What? 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 Ah! Map of the United States. Serendipitous that would have been if it had been in yesterday's paper. What's that? Oh, it was a question in the pub quiz. Oh, great. Sai, get a move on, will you, please? I mean, he's unbelievable. I mean, he's been up ages. Well, maybe he's finishing off his homework. Ah, it's a nice thought, Dad. And shouldn't you be at work, too? Hey, no, 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 you've no time for breakfast. Come on. Oh, so I'll just go then, shall I? Set the boss up and wait hey, for them. Hey, hey. Steady on. I was going to give you a lift. Is that OK? All right, thanks. All right. Come on, hurry up, then. Go get your shoes on. I'll grab this toast. You can have it in the car. I can take him, if you like. No, no, you're all right, Dad. I'll do it. Yeah, it's no bother, and you must have a lot to attend to at the factory. No, it's fine. No, I'll, I'll take him. Anyway, Carla can get on with it. But, um, thanks for asking. Si, come on! Tea and coffee over there. Oh, and someone usually goes to Rise Cafe for cakes. You can see him going and eat on my willpower working here. <laughs> You'll probably be with Kirk and packing most of the time, won't you? Oh, I should probably warn you, he's Beth's other half. She's one of our other machinists. Understood. And do please spread the word. Thank you very much. Okay, what have you got there? Here. Oh, sorry, this is Vicky. She's joining us in packing. Oh. I presume you've told Vicky that Kirk and Beth are an item. Oh, I can't wait to meet him now. Uh -huh. Gardening initiative. Well, in my view, a community garden should be just that. Something for people to create, use, enjoy. So the call's out. We're potting, we're planting, we're pruning. Mm. Sorry, Yasmin, you know, my cactus even died on me. <laughs> I'll have more to Tyrone, though. He, he has the look of a man who would have green fingers. It's 
splendid. If I might just, yeah. um, thank you. Vicky, can I have a word, please? And the boss? Can I just say, I'm really grateful. It feels good to have a fresh start, you know? Yeah. Listen, Vicky, there's something I need to explain. Oh, if it's a Kirk shacked up with Beth, then it's fair. No, it's not that. The thing is... Sorry, sorry, Mrs. Connor. I've just had a text from Beth. Her and Kirk have been up all night with some kind of tummy trouble. Are they trying to pull a fast one? Well, apparently, they went to an eat-as-much-as-you-like curry place and... Well, it sounds like Kirk was trying to break some kind of record and Beth was giving him moral support. Hit the window, Lou. Spare me the details. They're a plumbing liability, then, pair. No, but you know the Dawson delivery's got to get out and the fabric to collect from Patterson's. Look, I'm a quick learner. If someone takes me through it, I'll sort it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Good job you're here, then, eh? <laughs> oh, was there anything else? No. No, nothing. See, that's where you're going wrong, mate. No woman wants to hear about your exes on a date. But when she said it was fine? She lied. Women are complicated. Tell me about it. Have a good day, big man. But surely this changes everything. Mm. In truth, Duncan pleading guilty is unlikely to affect you. Where did you get this? Mm, it's not important. I'm sorry, but it is. If you must know, Imran dropped it on the floor over there. What, and you chose to keep him? Shouldn't you be more worried about the fact that he's got my ex-colleague down as a witness? I mean, look, there, Judith Fisher, Weatherfield Council. Duncan affair overheard on telephone. Oh, ridiculous. You know what? I barely know the woman. And as for what she thinks she heard... Paula? Um, look, don't panic. If what she says hasn't got any substance, he's unlikely to call her anyway. And if he does, well, I get to question her as well, so... But that's no good. You should be calling her and putting her straight. No, it's Imran's witness. If we do that, he's got the right to be present, and I really don't want him getting in the way. We need to concentrate on our case and what we know, and you need to stop trying to do my job for me. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I'll get us some more coffees. No, I'll get them, and then we'll go through everything one more time, yeah? Just be grateful you managed to get away with it for as long as you did. I can't believe you thought they were up for sharing you. Classic male fantasy. Yeah, you can just imagine the pair of them over breakfast sorting out the nookie rota. Nookie? Oh, that is sweet. No, what can I say? I'm an old-fashioned type of guy. Unlike her friend over here, is quite the modern man. You gotta hand it to Sally, though. She did you up like a kipper. Yeah, something she's going to regret once we get to court. Oh, fighting talk. First, you need to find those witness details that you managed to lose. Thank you. I have been looking. Yeah, well, look harder. Morning. Morning. Anyone want a coffee? Uh, uh, yeah, um... Give me your cup. Oh, it's a marvellous idea. Cos not everybody's got their own garden, have they? Exactly. One of the most devastating experiences in my school days was horticulture-related, when someone decapitated my daffodil. Oh. Why? I'd like to say envy, Alex. Um, it was the annual daffodil growing competition and uh, we were about to present our flower pots to the head. The culprit went on to experience Her Majesty's pleasure on several occasions, so I think one can assume he was at the start of a slippery slope. Oh, well, I'm glad it didn't deter you from what is obviously a calling. Brian's rhubarb is a tour de force. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> If I may offer one observation, though, which is that um, this isn't the best time of year for planting out. Well, sadly, it can't be helped. I secured a small grant for the project, but it has to be spent by the end of the year. Understood. You can rely on me to rise to the occasion. <laughs> Morning, campers. Ah, just the man. I was thinking you might help me spread the word about my gardening initiative. On the radio, perhaps. Gardening, you see? In which case, I am very much your man. Mm. See these? If they were any greener, they'd give Kermit a run for his money. <laughs> I think you'll find frogs only possess toes, no fingers. Brian's already signed up. Has he now? His rhubarb is a tour de farce. I thought you might be too busy attending court and such like. For your information, the charges against my daughter-in-law are trumped up, so I fully expect to be down that community garden in no time, sleeves rolled up, brandishing my trusty dibber. <laughs> See you there, then. See you there.
You look nice. Thanks. I was thinking about wearing the blue blouse, but... No, you're fine. You're more than fine. You know, I've been calling Sophie, but it keeps on going to voicemail. Half eleven, I've told her. Twice. Look, Sal, we've got plenty of time. Yeah, to be fair, it's only just gone half past. Do you want me to bob along and go? No, I'll go. You need to get yourself smartened up. And you. Oh, come on. I've got to get ready for court. Mm, me too. I don't think the judge would appreciate my current look. Well, what a stupid judge. I'm gonna go and get changed. Right back at you. Uh, well, what are you? I didn't think that you and Kevin had clicked. Uh... Well, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, listen, I'll uh, I'll get out of your hair. I only popped over because Sophie's not materialised. Oh, she left. She must have got waylaid. Kev, uh, Sal's here. Listen, I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. Actually, can I ask you something? Mm hmm What do you think of this blouse? It's not too loud, is it? I don't want to give the judge the wrong impression. It's great. You look lovely. I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah. Bye, Kev! What are you doing here? Someone tell me what's going on. Am I am I missing something here? You're not even gay. Oh, no, can we not do this now? You're my age. I know this is a bit of a shock. You can say that. Exactly. I mean, one minute you're dating my ex, and the next his daughter, my daughter. We were at school together, for goodness sake! I even talked to you when you like this. Sally, the last thing either of us wanted to do was drop a bombshell on you just before you go into court. Well, like you said, now's not the time. And when I was going on about Imran deceiving people, berating him for his dishonesty, and you just stood there knowing that you were just as bad. I'm sorry. Oh, you legals. You've got scruples when it suits you, but the rest of the time... That is so out of order. Me out of order? Sal, it's none of our business. I am worried sick about this court case. And instead of doing what she's paid to do, what any decent solicitor would be doing... Sally, you really need to calm down. Well, hear this. If I lose this case, it's because you took your eye off the ball. See, that's the problem with Ken. He's a snob. I mean, just because she got a couple of answers wrong. Well, I think it might be more about her not giving anyone else a chance. Oh, so she's enthusiastic. That's one word for it. Do you think I should go and look for her? No, have your dinner. She'll be fine. No, but she's been gone ages. Hey, one thing she's not, and that's backwards at coming forwards. Yeah. I mean, she was probably just a bit nervous last night. Was she, though? Really? I mean, maybe that's just who she is. Cos, let's face it, Ty, what do we really know about her except she's your nan? Maybe we should get in touch with the council, just see if they can find a nice little place She's been here for five minutes and you're trying to get rid of her? I mean, you just said it yourself, I don't know anything about her. And she's my flesh and blood. My actual flesh and blood, and the only chance that I've got to make sense of who I am. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. Of course she should stay. Doing? Always be ahead of the game, sunshine. I'm just getting going with my seedlings. A bit quick off the mark, aren't you? <laughs> you think old Brian Titchmars ain't gonna be at home right now potting up his hollyhocks? Well, make sure you tidy up after yourself. Sally's stressed as it is. Yeah. Where the hell is she? Hey, 
What do you think her chances are, honestly? Good. Paula reckons so, anyway. You are not going to believe this, because I can scarcely believe it myself. It turns out that my old school friend, my solicitor, is having a thing with my daughter. A thing? Yes, Tim, a thing. A sex thing. Flaming heck. You're kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? They've been having an affair and it's been... Well, they're both single, I suppose, so technically it's not really an affair, is it? Well, I mean, they've not betrayed a partner as such, but they sure as hell have betrayed me. Paula's never let on she's gay. Yeah, certainly not to care for until he finds out. Oh, believe me, he knows, because her and Sophie were... Well, they were together in his house and we both walked in on them. So how did you leave it? The woman's supposed to be defending you in a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah not so you'd know. And as for Sophie, I can't even look at her. Well, do you want me to go and have a word? The important thing right now, love, is your case. Yeah, do what you want. Okay. I'm going to clear up as soon as I'm done. Can I borrow your mobile? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Who are you going to call? She'll never recognise this number. Who? Sorry? Judith, it's Sally Metcalf. You're sure you've looked everywhere for that list? Well, if you'd like me to look again. Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, do you mind going through the filing cabinet? No problem. Oh, ah, and do you have the Duncan file? There you go. Thank you. Sorry, is this supposed to be funny? Well, it made me out I laugh. See number six. <laughs> A bit childish, don't you think? No, and you're the big man, are you? <laughs> Not gone into number seven. <laughs> right. You're fired. You are? Oh, it's just a bit of fun. Do you see me laughing? We'll pay you to the end of the week. Ah, oh, I was gonna quit anyway. Leanne, hold on. No, 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 you heard her. She was gonna quit anyway. Oh, and that witness list you've lost just about sums you up. See number ten. Sure. Incompetent. Ouch. What now, genius? No, I understand that, Judith, and I'm sure that you can understand that I... Yeah, well, I know that you believe you heard that, but I think you might have got the wrong end of the stick when you... ...sordid. What, you're accusing me? Ah, the fact of the matter is, Mrs Fisher, you most certainly did not hear me arrange anything with Duncan Ramsey. Sally, no, no. Yes, I do say so. And if you continue to contort my words, I can assure you there will be serious consequences. What are you doing? It's really none of your business. Mum, do not be like that. For your information, I'm doing what you should have been doing. Only you were too busy. You can't threaten a witness. She could report you. I know what I'm doing. Do you? Well, put it this way, I don't know whether I was sacked or I quit, but either way, I didn't like number six. Oh. Oh, excuse oh. me, ladies. Okay. Oh. It's not my day, is it? Oh. How's it go? Everything all right? It's pretty straightforward, to be fair. Don't let Kirky say that, huh? Hey, what's she doing in there? The guy's an otter. No! Stop it! Well? What's it got to do with you? Listen, Vicky, go and take your lunch break, all right? Don't take no notice of what he says. Do you know what? She might have to because I own off the factory. This is my business partner, Peter Barlow. Go on, go on. Listen, you. Kurt called an ill. What was I meant to do? Ask you to do the delivery. Do you know what? Yeah. Well, you weren't here, were you? So she did it. No fuss, no problem. She even sorted out Kurt's chaotic system. All right, I get it. You don't want to be the bad guy. It's fine. I'll sack her. Oh, no, no, you won't. And FYI, this isn't about me not wanting to be the bad guy, OK? She is an asset. Maybe I've not made myself clear. I am not having that woman working in my factory. That's my factory also. You're unbelievable. You'd be... And you're pig-headed. Do you know that? Well, if you don't like it, you know what you can do. Fine. So? How long have you two been...? Uh, we, we don't need to hear that right now, Dad. You should have said something. Mm. Do we need to get to court. Hey. Sally! 
Got a go, love. OK. You look nice. I thought we could go over a, a few things in the car. That won't be necessary. I've decided that I shan't be requiring your services at court. What? Sally, I know you're upset, but I really don't think that's a good idea. Upset? Disappointed? Betrayed? But it was all OK when you thought that Paula was sleeping with my dad. But now it's me. Don't even go there. Nice. Look, whatever you think about, you need Paula to get you through the day, don't you? Sally, you've got to let me help you, because if you phoning that witness comes up in court... Help me? I mean, it's a bit late for that. You have not been across this case, and now I know why. And do you know what? That's fine, because I do know it, inside and out. And that's why I'll be representing myself. When will you stop being so flaming stubborn? Timothy? I'd prefer it if you didn't come, either. We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.